everyone. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. As a clay kai breeder, we get asked all of the time how difficult they are to groom, what tools we should be using, and how often these little huskies really shed. So let's dive right in. With the right tools and some patience, it's pretty manageable. And here's how I groom my Alaskan Klikai. Before we get started, it's important to understand how a double-coated dog sheds. The Alaskan Klikai is made up of two parts. There's a long hair top coat, which is made up of guard hairs, and then the undercoat, which is really some fluff that's pretty dense. The undercoat is super dense because that is what keeps them warm in the winter. What happens when they shed or blow their coat, as it is commonly referred to as, is their undercoat detaches from their skin while their top coat stays in place. This blowing of their undercoat usually happens twice a year, and for most dogs it occurs in the spring as uh, the weather starts to warm up, and then again in the fall when uh, they need to make way for a growth of their new undercoat in preparation for cold weather ahead. Um, the goal is to find the right tools to successfully remove the loose undercoat while preserving their top coat. Um, there are several uh, different grooming tools that you'll see on the market, and over the last 16 years, um, we've had lots of trial and errors on what grooming tools work best for our Alaskan Klikai. We tried boar brushes, but they just didn't seem to get to their undercoat. It would brush um, their top coat, but um, we didn't have any success of getting the undercoat. Um, and we have tried several different slicker brushes over the years, and there's a lot of variations of slicker brushes. And so um, we'll go over those in some more detail, but we have used several different slicker brushes. And we've also tried the Ferminator. And the Ferminator uh, brush, when they first came out, was a pretty big hype. Um, it's a pretty expensive tool. And um, so, of course, I wanted to jump on that bandwagon and see what the hype was all about. Um, even though it did take out some of the undercoat, it didn't um, satisfy me because it would rip out their top coat. And so um, additionally, the dogs didn't really like it whenever we used this tool, it seemed to hurt them. Um, and so for that reason, I am not a big fan of the Ferminator tool. Despite them having such thick double coats, I have found that um, we don't need a whole lot of tools to properly groom the Alaskan Klikai. So here are the grooming tools that um, I found that work best. And the first thing that I uh, go to most often is the Zoom Groom. And this tool here is really soft rubber um, and it um, is made by Kong. And the other is a glove and it's just a grooming glove that you slip onto your hand and it really works the same way. It has uh, these little rubber knobs and it massages the dog's coat and skin, trying to promote the um, undercoat from loosening up and coming to the surface. Um, it's pretty important that your click eyes enjoy their grooming sessions and um, you want them to really enjoy that because you're going to be doing that probably once a week for the rest of their life. So last thing we want to do is be chasing our dogs all around the uh, yard or house because they hate being groomed. So the more they enjoy it, the easier it's going to be for you to um, get them to stay still and actually want to come and get their groomings. So we're going to use um, the Zoom Groom here just to give you guys a quick little demonstration. And again, this is a really soft rubber. Um, it doesn't hurt them. In fact, he thinks it's a toy. He wants to bite it. But it's just really going to massage him and loosen up any of the dead fur that is inside that undercoat and give him a quick rub down. And you'll see that this literally is just releasing a bunch of dead fur that's underneath there. Um, and the dogs really, really love this part. So. And then once you've used this, you've loosened up a lot of the fur, then you can use the glove, and the glove will grab some of it. It'll also give some more massaging, and again, the dogs really like it. Um, you can use one or the other, or you can use both, whatever your preference is and loosen up a lot of that fur that's underneath there that you can't see 
um, is actually loose because it's stuck underneath his uh, top coat. As you can see, it's got a lot of fur in there. And I'm just going back and forth. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but you'll see that it collects a lot of the hair and the table is full of hair. Uh, so the next thing that I use is the slicker brush and um, it's important to use the slicker brush that has these rubber tips on the edges of the uh, metal prongs. And if you remember earlier, I had stated that um, we've tried several different types of slicker brushes and um, these are the ones that we use because it's not going to hurt the dog's um, skin. So you can always test the brush and see if, um, if it hurts the palm of your hand. If it doesn't hurt the palm of your hand, it's most likely not going to hurt their skin. Um, but if you don't have the little rubber balls, again, it's going to hurt them and they're not going to enjoy their session. So make sure that you get the right type of slicker brush. Um, so I like to brush them um, going the opposite way that their coat lays when I use the slicker brush and that's really going to loosen up their fur and fluff up their coat. And so I'll use this brush for a while if they are really glowing coat. And with Simba, uh, he's definitely starting to blow his coat. Um, it's not to the point where it's all clumpy, um, but Simba stay. But it is definitely starting to loosen up and come out. Simba. And if you have a dog that um, will not stand on the table for you, then you can use this sidearm here and put the noose on there that um, you can get on Amazon and that will make the dog stay um, facing the direction that you want him to face and not move around too much. Simba is usually pretty good with grooming and um, I don't need to use it on him. And then I use um, either a rake or a comb. Um, I like both of these tools. And um, the rake has these long prongs. And um, you can see here that um, it's pretty long. And so this works really good because these prongs can go past the top coat and they'll get into the undercoat. Um, you'll wanna make sure not to press too hard because uh, this tool is made out of metal and you don't wanna hurt your dog. Um, it's meant to rake out the undercoat, but um, it's only meant to rake out the undercoat that's detached from their skin and not any undercoat that's still attached. Um, the comb's gonna do the same thing. And um, the comb has a wide tooth side and then it has the fine tooth side. And um, I like to use both sides. It's a pretty beneficial tool. Um, you'll see that you can use the wider side uh, whenever you're grooming um, dogs that have the really dense areas of their coat. And then you can use the fine um, part of that whenever they have areas that don't have as much um, undercoat. All right, so now I'm gonna go over him one more time with the comb. And this is really gonna um, loosen up anything that is stuck in there that we weren't able to get out with a brushing of his coat with a um, slicker brush. And this will just make him really fluffy. And now he's nice and handsome. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? All right, so now we are done brushing him out um, and got a lot of fur. And he says he's done. He knows he's done. And so just to show you guys um, what it looks like when you groom a clique high, this is what you get. So, do Alaskan click high shed? Yes, they do. And this was about 35, 40 minutes of grooming. Um, and when he is done blowing coat, he'll start to um, look like Rue and he won't have all of that undercoat um, coming out anymore and all of his new fur will come in nice and pretty again. 
And this is a little bit about grooming an Alaskan queen bee. If you guys have any questions, please make sure you put comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.